Hey guys, so I'm back and so my brother Matt, he's a senior in high school, he's class of 2020 and his last half of the year was cut from him, but yeah. So I asked him yesterday because my parents were like, oh we should do something for his graduation because it was supposed to be yesterday. And so for his graduation they're like, well I'm getting my cake, but turns out he wanted a cookie cake. So he thinks that we're buying him a cookie cake today. However, I'm making it from scratch. I'm gonna see what happens. I've never made a cookie cake before, and I do like to bake. So I got this recipe, I wrote it down, because I need something to record off of. It's from Sally's Baking Addiction. I don't know. So we're gonna try it. I went out, got everything. So we are going to start. Also, I'm recording in my corner because our cabinets are low, so I need to place to record where the kitchen is. Okay, so my room temperature butter, it's been sitting out for hours and I kind of forgot about it because my dad and I had to go out this morning, but yeah. So we have the room temperature butter and it says to use the paddle attachment and beat the butter for one minute on a medium speed until smooth and creamy. So yeah. I probably should have chopped up the butter, but I'm lazy. Okay, so I think it's nice, it's nice and smooth and creamy. It's been sitting at room temperature. So yeah, I need scissors. What? Ah, your face <laughs> I'm personally attacked, I don't it. I finally have the one cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna add that. I don't think it was a cup. I don't know. should be good enough. So the brown sugar and the butter is now creamed together. So now I have to add an egg and an egg yolk, the vanilla extract, and then mix until combined. So yeah. We add in the eggs. I have to separate. Oh, babe. <laughs> and then the vanilla, pure vanilla, two teaspoons of vanilla. One fourth. All right, looks like eight of these. So I have no idea how much vanilla is in here because I accidentally messed up and used a fourth teaspoon, fourth of a teaspoon, and then <laughs> I uh, accidentally did it. So it might be super vanilla y. E? Van vanilla ish? Okay, so now in a separate bowl, I need to combine. Flour, cornstarch, baking soda, and salt all together in here. And then I slowly mix it in with the wet ingredients. Even though there technically aren't wet ingredients in here. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. What do I need? Cornstarch. It's also weird. I've never seen a recipe need like cornstarch for cookies. Apparently it's good. I don't know. It's a five-star cookie cake that I'm making. And I'm going to go out and buy this. So yeah, Mac gets home at about four, right? So around four, I want this to be a big old little surprise. Because he works at Target during this, and he has to deal with some rude people sometimes. And when I went into our local Target where he works, he um, was doing carts. And normally when he does carts, he has a, a little bit of a bad day. Because there's always some rude people who think that he's not cleaning them properly. Even though he's cleaning them the way that he so should be cleaning them. So yeah. Okay, back to baking. So now we have to slowly mix in the wet ingredients until combined. And it's supposed to be thick. And 
mix it up. Now I have to add one and one fourth cup of chocolate chips. And they're supposed to be semi-sweet, however. And like a good chocolate chip cookie, there's like a blend of... Stop it! <laughs> there is a blend of uh, chips. So I like to use... I've gotten into like dark chocolate morsels and semi-sweet because I think it's just like the bitterness is really nice and it offsets like some of the like, sweetness in the cookie already. So I'm going to do a little mixture. Come on. So yeah. Do you guys see something different than I'm not doing? This one's big thing when you're done. Okay. So I have the dough, and now I have to pat it down in the pan evenly. And we don't have a pie pan. I should have looked if they had that at Target when I went, but oh well. Blob. Love. So I'm spreading this out, trying to get it almost as even as possible. It's not like the best. It would probably would have been a little better with a circle, circle, circular pan. English is not my forte. This is basically ready to go in the oven. It's yeah. pretty decently spread out. There's like weirdly not a lot of chocolate on this side, but I don't know. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven, 20 to 25 minutes, and I'll see you around that time. So it's been 20 minutes. It's looking good. So I'll let this cool, and then we're gonna decorate. Basically, it's been about an hour or so, and Matt comes home in about an hour, right? So the cookie cake is still isn't like cool yet. However, it's not bad, and. Uh, so I'm gonna make the frosting. And I plan to do like a white and then dye part of it blue so I can pipe like his name or something like that on it. So I'm gonna put this, half of it, or like most of it, in a little plastic baggie for decorating. And then I'm gonna take the rest, dye it blue. So that's Matt's favorite color for like little detail piping. Also, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. They're blowing at pool floaties. Okay, so I'm gonna start to decorate this cake. And originally I was gonna transfer it. However, um, it kind of broke. <laughs> it's never, we're doing great. So the final product. I'm sorry about the white, I'll probably fix that. But yeah. So Matt, better like this. Sit, sit. So I was work. I'm so tired, people are exhausting. What are you doing? I'm actually tired. Oh my god. <laughs> you said third shelf. Alright, one below it. And I want you to... Oh my god. How is it? I am so happy. Come here! <laughs> Oh, you're getting underneath my shirt now. This guy is. Yeah. How's the cake? Did I do you well? I, I think it's so awful I have to eat it for the sake of the family. Right. I would think this was a success. Matt really liked it. It was fun to make. The buttercream isn't that bad. It's not as best I thought it would be. Also, don't mind my hair, I just worked out. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, good luck 2020 seniors if you see this. You guys are gonna do great. <laughs>